So I figured there's no better way to learn about Korean skincare and K-beauty than to actually just go to Korea itself. Okay, I'm at the airport bright and early. I'm heading to South Korea. Never been to Asia before, so I'm super excited. Ooh, booster juice. So I feel like I'm lucky enough to travel quite a bit for work, but I've actually never flown anything other than economy. And today, I think we have prestige, which I don't really know what that means. The only thing I know is that it means we get lounge access. So I'm going to the lounge. So I have arrived at the lounge. I'm already in a reclined position and I'm so happy. I also found my travel companion. Hello. Got Chelsea Trevor here. So I'm confused. Do we want to sleep as soon as we get on the plane? Like what's the best? When we get, I don't know because when we get there it's three and then- It's gonna be like 6 a.m. when we're eating dinner when we get there, right? Yeah. We're not, we're gonna be <laughs> exhausted either way. There's no solution for I'm this. I'm gonna look insane. Awesome, thanks so much. My question is, do I get a pod? Like, you know, like the little first class pods? I've never been in one of those. Hi there. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Update, I have my own bed. This is a luxury we can't get used to. This is a one time thing. So this is a wall that we can put up and down so I can just hide from Chelsea. I, oh my God. Oh, that's as high as it goes. <laughs> this is crazy, I don't even know what all these buttons do. So I think this turns into a bed. I just, this is take off and then there's sleep and like lounge. It's like a bit the oh. thing comes out. Take off mode, yeah. What? We're in take off mode right now. <laughs> Cheers. Prestige. Pick you up. <laughs> Pick you up. I'm like no, too like hillbilly for this. <laughs> this feels not right. Oh, we're living, Chelsea. Look at this TV. It's huge. never been the first one off a plane before. <laughs> that is prestige behavior. <laughs> Anytime anything great happens, we're just like, oh, that is prestige. That is not economy. That is prestige behavior. <laughs> Okay, we just got to our hotel. This is the tallest high rise in Korea. I'm staying on the 88th floor. This hotel room is Hands down, the nicest hotel room I've ever been in in my entire life. Let me show you. I'm actually, I can't believe this. I've just been literally, I've been walking through and I'm like, this is something all right. Okay, so here's the entrance. So I turn around the corner. Oh my God, so stunning room, but then look at this view. This is absolutely insane. You overlook all of Seoul. And then, just wait, if it couldn't get any better, it has the nicest bathroom I have ever seen. Look at this! This is absolutely wild! I am freaking out right now, guys! Oh my god! Look at this tub! What is going on right now? This is a shower! This is a giant shower in here! Holy! This is absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know how to react right now. I feel like I'm like some queen or something. This is like the nicest suite I've tr Wait, what's, oh, is this the toilet back here? I haven't even been in here. Wow, everything, oh my God, it's an automatic toilet. This is the life, oh, it's got the heat warmer, the bidet. I genuinely need to catch my breath. I am like, 
honestly about to cry. This is so crazy. I feel so, so lucky. I'm like a little, maybe I'm a little extra emotional because I just sat on like literally a 14 hour plane ride and I'm kind of losing my mind right now. But this is a pinch me moment. This is a how is my life real life right now. <sighs> I just, I cannot believe this. And look at the mountains all in the background. This is ridiculous. So I was way too excited about the bathtub. I completely glossed over the fact that there's this epic welcome package from Amore Pacific. I can already tell this is gonna be the most incredible brand trip ever. And this is just the start, I've just arrived. You guys know I'm a huge skincare junkie and apparently there's a lot of like skincare education and we're going to like the tea gardens and like where they grow their roses and like all of these crazy amazing things. So I'm just, I'm like a kid in a candy shop right now. I cannot believe this. <laughs> So I had a shower in that epic waterfall rain shower and it was so good. I just, my soul is cleansed. Okay, we've got a little outfit change. I still did not put on any makeup, but I did want to put on a pair of heels just so I felt a little more glam. Um, anyways, we basically just finished about dinner. I didn't record it because I looked disgusting and I just had a quick bite because I just needed something in my stomach. Um, I am going to, I think, try to get some sleep right now. I'm so confused like about this time change. So if I go to bed now, I just don't want to wake up too early. So I'm confused if I should just stay up or just go to bed. I feel like I'm on still like an adrenaline rush from just being here, so. So I don't know who I was kidding when I said that I was just gonna go to bed. Of course I have to take a bath in this epic bath. And with the sun setting, the city is starting to look absolutely amazing. Oh, let me turn off the lights. So this is my view right now. I don't really think you can beat this. It just looks so stunning outside. I'm just uh, in complete awe. Okay, so how cool is this? So they have this little package that says bath tea and I opened it up and it's literally a bag of tea for your bath. Move over bath bombs. I got bath teas now. <sighs> now that is prestige behavior. Morning, morning. Okay, I had a little bit of a rough sleep last night in the sense that I woke up at 3 a.m. and just could not fall asleep. I just had like the craziest case of jet lag, but I guess that's kind of to be expected. But it definitely was not a, a hard sleep in this giant king bed. It was like <laughs> just sprawled out and just living my best life. Okay, I know this is a really fancy hotel and I probably shouldn't do this, but I kind of just have to do this. That was everything I wanted it to be. Okay, I'm all ready for day one. We're heading to, I believe it's the floral gardens. Everyone is here. Jackie Wires is here. She made it. Hello, Hi. Jackie Wilde and Wacko Jack. Oh, we're unite. back. <laughs> Summer 2K19. Okay. It's an annual thing now. What are you most excited about? Oh, it all. I've never been to Asia, either of you, right? Yeah, so oh, the first time. First time. Yeah, we are ready. Look at all of these cars ready to ship us off. Okay, so we've got a Canada bus and the US bus. We're going in. Guys, so it's the Raptors game tonight, and this could be the one that, you know, we take home the gold with. So we're gonna stream it um, and try to stay up to date. It's like <laughs> the only bad thing about not being at home right now is that we're not gonna be in the city when we get this win. Hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> We're pulling up to the Amore Pacific Beauty Campus. I am so excited. It is the most blue and like luscious day outside. This has been the biggest game changer. This like pocket Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. Wow. This is what's carrying us through. It's the most like sterile and like clean looking place I've ever been in. It's huge. Definitely this one. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we made lipsticks, thanks so much. We made lipsticks at the beginning of the tour and I think they printed on whatever we wanted the text to be. So I got prestige behavior printed on this. Wait, this is so funny. 
Guys, I'm on a KB campaign. So that tour was the most epic thing it was ever. So it was like so thoughtfully designed and like huge, and that whole entire building was literally created. Just to so ahead of us. Yeah. <laughs> So it was so cool. We actually got to see the actual laboratories where they package and like make the actual products. We weren't allowed to record that though, but just know that it was the craziest thing. It was like, there was a conveyor belt of yeah. like, and just people like were like such a well-oiled machine. Yeah, yeah, don't fall in that little, uh, <laughs> little pond there. It's like the, the clouds are fake or something. They're perfectly, perfectly blue. Update. There is a robot lawnmower over here. We need robots at home cutting the lawns. Yeah, we Why need that. Why don't we have one? That's what right. my thought process. You know how much easier that'd be? Look at it. Oh my god, yeah. My dad would love that thing. We were also saying it's absolutely hilarious because there's like four <laughs> photographers and a videographer here. So there's just cameras flashing and going. And I'm like, like you have to always be on point. And that's not good for me because I have bad But you know what it is? That is prestige behavior. It is. That is prestige <laughs> behavior. <laughs> it's like the archive tool for Instagram, but in real life for the beauty community. So we're in the beauty archives right now. So there is just literally every single product that's ever existed or currently exists. This is so fascinating. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I actually am like so obsessed with the history of beauty and not only like beauty trends, but like actual vintage makeup and like the compacts. I'm like, ugh, so fascinated by it. So seeing all of the products. Whoa, what even? Are these like vitamins? Hair vitamins. <laughs> That's a very controversial thing in the beauty community right now. Whoa, so crazy. This is like any beauty lover's dream right now. This one's here from the 80s. It's crazy to see like the packaging change as well and the way that like they try to market the product. Wow, this is very fitting. These are my favorite ones and this was the year that I was born. We have a connection. I have a connection to you. Why is vintage makeup just so much more epic? Okay, I've officially lost the group. I spent way too much time in here. I need to go find everyone. <laughs> my inner makeup artist is just like dying right now. I'm gonna put this in the vlogs, so that way I have video proof of me actually saying this, but one day I would love to design, obviously like my own products and the own actual like ingredients and um, all of that, but I would love to design the actual packaging and the product and be so involved and like literally make the boxes and design it and that would just, oh, that would make my beauty little heart so happy. Look at all the advertisements throughout the year. Okay, so it is lunchtime. There is a bunch of food here. We just keep getting fed the most amazing food. Everything is just so perfect here and like so clean and amazing. It's almost like we're in Disney World and this is all fake and it's just so perfect. Okay, so I'm getting the live updates right now from my mom about the Raptors. There's only 30 seconds left and we're down by one point. If we win this, guys, we win the finals. I need an update. I need an update. Okay, she's typing. She's typing. We lost. <gasps> no. I knew it. You called it. You did. You did. Oh, so we get to like make our own cream. Lemon. 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 Smell it. You can smell it. I might smell it. You know what? This smells like grade three, like recess, playing in the forest. ears on. <laughs> we kind of look like Winnie the Pooh, but I feel really cute right now. Yeah, I do feel I feel like ten times cuter with these on. Like I Whoa. Feel like ten times cuter. I'm Why is this entire oh campus gosh. just so epic? <laughs> Love the earth. So you can experience the origin of our company. This is where they grow all their flowers to do their research, to make their products. So they have a bunch of different types of flowers like hibiscus, rose. We've been like just smelling different samples all afternoon. This is so pretty. I'm not kidding. I wasn't kidding. There's gonna be so many bad photos of me like mid-sentence. Like 
<laughs> okay, it has been such a fun day walking through the garden. Someone just fell. Walking through the gardens and learning about all the products and ingredients and just like kind of seeing firsthand how the research and like all of that stuff is done. Um, so super cool. Anyways, the next thing we have on the itinerary is a spa day, which y'all know I love me a good pamper day, love me a good spa moment. And we're actually gonna be getting facials, which Jackie, it is her first time ever getting a facial. So I'm so excited. I think you're gonna love it. I'm just hoping. I don't get too relaxed and like fall asleep. Cause like, I always feel like I'll waste the treatment if I fall asleep during a massage or like a facial. Yeah. So I want to stay awake, but I also want to be at a state of relaxation yeah. like where I could fall asleep. Press. Yeah, it's like 4 a.m. Toronto time. I oddly feel like adjusted. I'm, ready. I'm feeling good. Like, We've arrived to the Sumulatsu Spa. Yeah. Like this. Like this. <laughs> is that thank you or hello? It's um, it's a polite way of saying thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So usually Yeah, that one. Kamsamida. Kamsamida. We're trying to pick up some pieces of the language. Maybe just a few words. Kamsamida. There you go. That was good. <laughs> We've been asking all of um, all of the Korean employees and the translators here to help us like with at least a few keywords. I always feel like it's kind of, I don't know, it's better to at least try to pick up a few words, even if you butcher it, at least you're trying. Um, so we have one in the archive now. Come samnida, come samnida. Yeah, I think so. I think so. This is crazy. Are these mirror? Oh, that's mirror. Whoa, this is so weird. <laughs> So luxurious. We just had ginseng, which is like the most delicious juice ever. It's supposed to cleanse us off and to start us off. And then. No! It's like such an experience. It's not like just a facial, it's like through and through. It is time for the facial. I am so, so excited. I will see you guys in an hour. Oh my goodness, that was hands down the best facial I've ever had. The like facial massage techniques were so good and my skin feels literally amazing and looks the most even it's ever looked post facial. My only complaint is that I wish it was longer because I could have stayed there for five hours. So we're just having a little photo shoot and all these uh, pretty colored lights, it's like a little light tunnel. Then we're gonna grab a quick little bite to eat for dinner and then I think that is it for the itinerary. I think Jackie and I might go to the mall quickly. I heard there's a BTS store there and Amanda back home has uh, to has given me a list of things I need to pick up for her. Hey, BT21, B21, BT21 merch. I don't even know what it's called. I'm such a fake fan. <laughs> Amanda, we are on the hunt. Yes, we're doing this because you like them. We're and we're learning and we will like them soon. <laughs> RM, Jungkook. Jimin, um, Cookie. Oh, that's Drunk Cook, I think. Okay, we've literally just walked all six floors of this mall because we couldn't get the like um, interactive map to work. So we just figured out where it is. It's actually the basement, the very last place we would have looked. Okay, I think we're getting closer. There's BTS signs on the wall. What if they're closed? What if they don't have what Amanda's looking for? These are the questions I wonder. We have found it, we found it. But I'm pretty sure that this is her favorite character. I think this is RM's. Okay, if I'm wrong, please don't hate me, Army. Okay, I think this is it. This is actually the peak of my life. It doesn't get better than this. Look at this view. Oh my goodness. So jet lag is hitting hard in the sense that I keep on waking up at 4 a.m. But I don't even hate it because I get to watch the sunrise every morning. And I swear I've never seen a better sunrise than today. The sun also just looks bigger here. I don't know if this is like an eclipse or what the situation is, but it's literally shining in directly on me. This is so nice. Oh my god. Also, update my skin. Truly feels amazing from this facial yesterday. Okay, I really should just have clothes on for this. This is just one of those moments, you know, when you're like, this is life. This, this is it, man. Day two in Korea, let's get it. Okay, so our final Canadian has arrived. Look who it is. Here, guys. Okay, so what happened? You missed <laughs> your flight to South Korea? So listen, I thought my flight without a doubt was on Monday. <laughs> so I'm checking in Sunday night, you know, packing my bag. Feeling good. Feeling good, really excited about Korea. 
When I check in, I see Sunday the 9th, and I was like, no, 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 you don't mean Sunday. It did mean Sunday. And, and she I missed her flight. flight. I missed my flight, guys. Day later, she's here, ready for a full yes. adventure. Thank you to the amazing More Pacific team <laughs> yes. for literally hooking it up. Like, oh my god. You're here now, it's stress. good. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> yes. So we're funny. Korea. We're in Korea, baby. So we're headed to Jeju Island right now. So we're checking out of this glorious, amazing, stunning hotel. And we're headed to the island. From what I hear, Jeju Island is like the Hawaii of South Korea. And I've never been to Hawaii, so. Okay, we're at the Amore Pacific headquarters. It's different from where we were yesterday. This building is absolutely massive. I can't even explain that to you. Shut up. There's a robot upon entrance. There is a robot. <laughs> so we're just mid-tour of the Amore Pacific headquarters tour, and we're on the fifth floor right now, but they have this like crazy water feature, which when you're down on the first floor, you kind of look up and see all this water, but then look at how crazy this building is. It's like a giant square. So keep in mind, we're already on the fifth floor, and look at how like massive this place is. It's just the most thoughtfully designed and like very aesthetic place. Oh baby, one of my favorite brands, Laneige. You guys know I'm obsessed with their lip sleeping mask, so I'm just ready to dive into the world of Laneige, learn the science behind it. It also just helps me so much like when I get properly educated on these products because then I can share the proper information with you guys. So is glass skin not really a thing in Korea? I mean, the thing is... The you don't mean it's a different term. Okay. You don't call it glass. Okay. okay, so they're about to test their uh, water level contents in their skin because apparently if you have less than 10% of water content, then that means you've got very dry skin. It's definitely I'm aging. My Let's, forehead's aging as I speak. Forehead, your forehead is not <laughs> yes, aging. Yes, it is. I have wrinkles. Oh my god. I have wrinkles in my forehead too. Did you have weeping vein? <laughs> I've got wrinkles in my forehead. That's normal. My face moves. Yeah. I've got a lot of... I'm very expressive. Yeah, it's only when they swivel on, all we'll do is on a test on your arm, but there will be two marks on like, like this, like this. Everyone has been saying that these Laneige cream skin packs. <laughs> Maybe it'll give you the softest neck ever, just leave it there. <laughs> your self tan just wipes completely off. Oh, yes, I need to send it over. Oops. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. My green tea consumption since being here has increased by like 500%. Oh, look at the entire tea. Wait, get it on the vlog. Look at all of us. Oh, I'm so sorry. Never should have fell. Everyone also keeps mocking me when I vlog, so I don't know. Let's go on the plane. <laughs> prestige behavior. We have an hour-long flight and we have full beds. What? Okay, we just arrived at our hotel in Jeju and oh my goodness, this trip just keeps on getting better and I don't know. I just, I can't comprehend this. Anyways, look at this room. There's a cute little, I don't even know what this is actually, a little like welcome. A little welcome bag from Amore Pacific with little flowers in here. So we were all just going to kind of crash and go to bed because it was kind of a long drive. It was about like an hour-ish. Um, so we were all just kind of feeling pooped after the flight and everything. But then we arrived here and we saw outside and it looks so bumping. I don't know how to open up this door. So we've all agreed that we're going to quickly just kind of settle in and then go out and get like dessert or something. Holy crap. This is crazy. Look at how beautiful this is. And the moon. Okay, day three, we are headed to the green tea gardens and I heard that there's a ton of spiders in there. So I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Spiders don't particularly bother me, but I'm also like in a short little dress. And I don't want spiders like crawling all up on me. So we're gonna see how this goes. driving through the field right now and I don't really think our buses that we're in are supposed to be on this path and we are hitting all the bumps. 
like my skin is gonna clear up just from being here. Antioxidants, natural caffeine. What else is green tea good for? Actually, I'm really excited to meet every one of you in person because I've been, you know, following your Instagrams mm -hmm. and I was like double tapping your pictures. Oh, thank you. So I was following you guys. And do you happen to know there is only one cosmetics company which owns the green tea field? And that's us, I'm of course. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You basically want to find one spear with three leaves on it. It has something to do with like the most potency of caffeine and antioxidants and all that stuff. So this is the golden piece of green tea that you want to pick. That is not one spear, three leaves. One spear, three leaves. Oh, you got one spear, four leaves. That middle one, does that count as? No, 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 this is the... Wait, we're wrong. Wait, are You're we wrong. doing it wrong? No, doing it wrong. Ah! <laughs> I thought I had the perfect one. There we go. Oh, One. Oh my gosh, I am on a roll. Wow. Oh baby, we are getting so spoiled. I think I keep saying that every vlog clip. We're getting so spoiled. <laughs> that is prestige behavior. Okay, we're on our way to go to the traditional green tea ceremony. Wait, this is ridiculous. changed into bikinis we're gonna lay by the pool we have some free time until dinner and we just want to relax you know grab a beverage get the bun cheeks nice and tan I feel like I'm <laughs> at like some all-inclusive resort right now this is ridiculous oh yeah walking up this is gonna be brutal <laughs> So we're going on a bit of an adventure. We're trying to get to the beach, which is a little bit of like, we started up on like the mountain hillside up there, but we want to go to the beach before we have a dinner. There's like a, what's it like a glamping dinner tonight? Glamping which, barbecue. Glamping barbecue. So not exactly sure what that means, but we're ready. None of us look like we're about to go camping or glamping or any of the above. No way. Apparently there's actual tents set up out here. Shut up. We're sleeping here tonight, guys. We're no way. Here. I want my hotel room tonight. <laughs> Jill, are you about that? The glamping village. Is this set up just for us? Oh my God, and there's like literal chefs. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is glamping over right Wait, what? Cheers. Cheers. Okay, I'm getting ready for bed, but honestly, with all this new skincare we've been learning about and we've been getting so many different products, I've just kind of been dying to do a beautiful, long, and lengthy, and excessive skincare routine. Um, so I want to start off with this clay mask. This one here is from Innisfree. Now I'm pretty sure this one is jam-packed with a ton of clay, so it's gonna be really good for kind of pulling out any impurities in the skin. So I'm gonna layer this on, pamper myself a little bit, and do a little skincare. Ooh, this feels good, I like this. The Innisfree Pore Clearing Clay Mask with Super Volcanic Clusters. Pore Clearing Solution, ooh. I just feel so bougie to have like all this high-end skincare. Oh. <laughs> What? Oh, that's my bedtime. Look at it, it erases my eyebrows. Oh my god, this is kind of scary. Looks like when I made myself 
bald. Oh no. That looks really soothing. It feels really good. I actually would highly recommend this. Oh my god, I'm like erasing every single facial feature. <laughs> Jackie, come back. I look scarier. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> oh my god, why'd you do it on your lip? <laughs> what is that about? It feels it's so good. It feels so luxury. I just can't even complain. Oh my god, I'm just confused why you put it all on your lip. I thought it'd be like a lip mask. Maybe it is. Oh, it's kind of tingling in a good way. <laughs> this has her name on it. How cool is that? It says, at Jacqueline Forbes. <laughs> Yo, this is actually crazy. It's like so similar to my eye color, so I'm just like all one tone, you know? It's a little creepy. Okay, this is gonna be interesting to wash off. It looks very thick. Okay, next up, I'm gonna go in with the Vintage Single Extract Essence from Amore Pacific. This is what we basically were doing all day in the tea gardens, all of the fresh green tea. Um, goes into this product now essences. I feel like our thing They're not as popular yet in North America as they are in places like Korea But you guys know my thoughts on Korean skincare in the sense that they are just so so far Beyond advanced everything that we're doing in North America and they always really kind of set the bar when it comes to skincare So I'm sure the general public will be getting more on board with essences in the next few years back home um, But South Korea did it first so I kind of like to think of an essence kind of as, I would say if a toner and a serum kind of like had a baby, that's what an essence is. So I like to use it kind of underneath of my moisturizer and it just kind of helps boost the effects and also just really, I don't want to say preps your skin, but it really gets your skin ready for absorption um, for your moisturizer. And I kind of like to pat my essence into my skin I don't know if that's the actual proper technique, but one, it feels right, and two, I'm pretty sure that's what they did at the facial the other day, so I'm gonna stick with that because they clearly know what they're doing. Then to finish off, I'm gonna go in with the Amore Pacific Skin Reserve Cream, which I hear a lot of people talking about this, so I'm excited to finally try it out. Whoa, the packaging is so cool on these. This cream almost feels like an eye cream. It's very thick. I just wanna make sure it's for the actual face. Whoa! This is $450? Now that is prestige behavior. Holy cannoli! Wow. It does feel amazing. Mm, it smells really nice too. Okay, well my skin has like almost like a dewy highlight look right now. That cream was so nourishing. Okay, now I am ready for bed. I am feeling like a million bucks. Or more like 450 bucks. <laughs> Rainy day in paradise. Okay, so we're just rallying up the squad, then we're heading back to the airport, we're going back to the city. And today we have a bit more time to actually like explore the city. I think we're going to the shopping district and like beauty district and I'm gonna do all that because girl is feeling a little spendy. I mean, it's not like I don't already have a million products right now, but when in South Korea, you know? Uh, I just like honestly feel so lucky that we have such um, an awesome group of women here. Like people can truly make or break the experience. And this is what I was even saying to them. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. These amazing hotels and lavish experience, they're all so fun to do. But really, if you don't have a great group of people there with you, it can totally change the experience. So at the end of the day, you know, it really, it really is important who you're surrounded by. And, and really everyone has been so amazing and made this trip so memorable already. I'm already like, I don't want to go home. I'm so sad. I don't want to go. I know. Tell her not to go, guys. I find out midway through the trip. She's like, yeah, no, I live here. I'm like, what? It's been what, five years? Yeah. It's a very convenient country. Mm. Like you could get anything delivered to you at whatever time you want. So I thought somehow this whole trip, I just got lucky and didn't really catch the case of the jet lag. But it is like day four, I guess, officially. And I am like dragging. To be fair, I also did stay up late last night and I was doing some work and editing some videos. But I am like not okay right now. And I had like a double espresso this morning and I'm trying to really caffeinate myself. Oh 
Okay, we just landed. We just found out that we won yeah. the oh finals. God. We're all freaking out. Are you? We there? won! <laughs> We're so excited. We literally landed, got Wi-Fi, found out that the Raptors won. We are just like, we're all shook. We're yeah, crying. We're, we're dying. There was 37 seconds left. I was we're stressed. Like, <laughs> with there was three. Like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to what we're doing here. Trying to regain focus. We're gonna go head up to lunch now. We just landed back in Seoul, and uh, we're ready to eat basically and celebrate the wraps. There's so many beauty shops. Just like one store after another. All different beauty products. Whoa. There's a lot going on right now. A lot to take in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, it's like oh, Lucy. Okay, just arrived at the third and final hotel, and this one is just oh so luxurious. That is just the theme of this trip. We have been getting so spoiled. Look at like all of this furniture, it's just so nice. Anyways, I feel like I need a little bit of time to recharge, so I'm probably gonna be hopping in that bed in like two seconds. I haven't even got in here yet. Whoa, this is a closet, and then the bathroom. Oh, it connects to the Whoa, guys, this is snazzy. Whoa. I don't even know what to say anymore. This is like all just too much. It really is. Okay, I'm feeling a little revived. Had an outfit change. I'm gonna go meet all the girls down in the lobby. BTS is literally everywhere. Ooh, look at these eyelashes. Okay, we're looking at some colored contacts now. Ooh. I definitely need to stock up on some. Even for like makeup looks and special effects things, it's always good to have different colors. Purple. <laughs> you need to buy this. <laughs> need it. So it's 5, 10 a.m. right now. We have a flight back home to Toronto, so. I'm feeling very conflicted. I absolutely love it here, and I've had the best time ever. But I also am very excited to get on this plane and to go back into a little pod and have a great sleep. Also, I swear my skin has never looked better. I don't know if it's the Korean skincare. I also feel like their water is so much cleaner here. Like even their drinking tap water is like good. It doesn't taste like chlorine and all these things like it does back home. Um, so I'm sure that also has an effect on my skin. But yeah, let's go to the airport. Let's go home, baby. Oh.